Is the camera on? So should we go? Okay. Uh, thank you very much for making time to watch this video. And if this happens to be the very first time you are watching us on this YouTube channel, please uh, kindly do us a favor to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And after subscribing, it, don't forget to click on to the notification bell you see. Uh, and then you select all so that anytime we come your way with videos such as this one, you will be the very first person to get notified. Uh, in today's video, we are discussing one very important, you know, issue, which I think most people, you know, especially um, health practitioners don't tell you. And most people's mind having gone through that, which is um, healing. We are speaking of healing, how your body can heal fast. You know, human beings, we are created in such a way that uh, anytime we are sick, our body goes through, you know, series of depression. So you put the sickness itself aside, the body itself also goes through a depression moment. And the reason why the body gets into this state of depression is because the body is not used to what um, experiencing pain. Okay, because whenever you are sick, your body, you know, passes through pain. You understand pains not even one pain pains therefore emotionally you will be what you will be depressed psychologically you will be depressed physically you will be depressed that is why most people when they are sick you sometimes see them to be looking as as pale as they are and sometimes some even go you know go lean loses muscles here and there because of the depression because of the pains they normally go through so you put all these things in a nutshell all together it tells you clearly that human beings uh, don't want to fall sick anytime a person you know falls sick the person is so anxious the person becomes agitated to uh, to get faster healing and this explains the reasons why most people jump from one medication to the other and uh, you you don't blame you know the sick person the sick people are you know are super anxious people so when they are on a particular medication and they use it for one two three days or for a week and they don't see any improvement quickly they will jump from that particular medication and then hop on to another one all because they would want to you know get healed very very fast but as people i think we are making a very huge mistake and the mistake is that uh, we have forgotten that um it takes two to tangle it takes two process to get healing very fast since we all want to you know get healed very fast i think it is time we must take our time sit down reflect and then know the best solutions you will what you you will take in order to get healed very fast there are two ways of you know healing uh the first one we all know which is medication as soon as a person is diagnosed of forget forgive me this is bitter cooler huh? i told you as a man you need bitter cooler always mm -hmm. the first way as soon as a person is diagnosed of a medication the next thing the person think thinks of is what is medicine that is why when you go to the the hospital you, you you enter the consultation room the doctor will diagnose you will ask you what is wrong with you after getting all what you know he need he will just take a pen and, and a small paper and then write a certain inscription me i i see it i i i, I term it inscription it is not writing inscription and give it give it to you ask you to go to the pharmacy go and show it to the pharmacy then the pharmacy too will know they know then he will pick one or two he or she will pick one or two drugs or medicines for you that is what our mind is programmed to anytime we are sick the next thing is medicine that is process number one 
but we have forgotten the process number two that is why we are all suffering we are all sick and we are all trying our possible best to get healed yet we are not getting the healing and someone will ask what is the next or what is the process number two the process number two is simply the kind of food which is diet change diet what change or food we eat we must stop eating those foods we were eating before the sickness food because the reason why i'm saying food or diet change is that i can tell you on authority that about 90 percent of the diseases we are suffering from or the diseases we are tackling or we are battling with about 90 percent of them we got it from food yes we got those diseases from the way we eat from the, the kind of foods we are eating as people maybe the 10 percent is the environment we find ourselves you know uh, when the environment is polluted the air is polluted uh the, the the air becomes you know oxidated and so on and so forth so as we inhale these airs and so on you will get you know sick and sometimes we are exposed to you know uh, a particular chemicals radiations and the rest so 10 percent but majority 90 percent of the sickness we are facing as people we got it from food so right now you are getting the drift so it tells you clearly that when you are sick whether cancer whether diabetes whether blood pressure whether stomach ulcer whether asthma whether pneumonia whether hepatitis whether gallbladder stone whether leukemia whether anemia okay whether premature ejaculation erectile dysfunction low sperm count name it name it you can name all the diseases in this world you can name all the diseases if you get contact or if you get affected to any of these diseases i have mentioned so far and those i couldn't even mention because there are many the best thing you must do is to what change your diet that is the message for today diet changing you must try your possible best to change your diet change your diet the moment you change your diet you will see let me tell you something let me give you give you a typical example if you have a house or if you have a pet like a dog or cat in your house you realize that you realize that at a point in time in the life of the dog you give it food it will not eat the food the dog will not eat the food or the cat will not eat the food and sometimes you'll be forcing it to eat the food then when the 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 the, the, the lack of appetite becomes enormous becomes so severe the next thing you do is that you take the dog to the veterinary then it will be diagnosed and then the, the veterinary doctor will tell you oh the dog is sick that is why it is not eating then they will do the necessary things and all of a sudden the dog will come back to you know eat full strength and begin to eat do you know why the dog did that it did that because the dog is trying to tell you that the kind of food it used to eat you know before it got sick will not help him or will not help it therefore if you put that food that same food in front of you know it it will not eat it will not eat the food because at that anterior moment the system of the dog doesn't need food and the same thing applies to human beings check check it very well anytime you are sick you the first thing you do is to lose appetite then that loss of appetite you normally go through anytime you get sick is not by default or it's not by chance it is by default it is that is how the that is how almighty god created and structured the human body anytime there is a breach anytime there is a problem in the body the first thing the body will do 
is to you know take away the appetite away from you it is it is how the immune system tries to give you the signal that hey my friend hey buddy hey man something is wrong with me so i don't need this garbage anymore fix it before i begin to you know take that garbage but for now i don't need the garbage so you ask yourself every sick person loses appetite isn't it check tell me if what i'm saying is not true check tell me whether it is malaria the person will lose appetite whether it is cancer the person will lose appetite whether it's stomach ulcer the person will lose appetite whether it is hepatitis b serious one the person will lose appetite any disease a person is suffering from the first thing or the first indicator the body indicator is the loss of appetite isn't it hmm? loss of appetite so you ask yourself why the loss of appetite the loss of appetite comes in it is a way the body is trying to tell you that look i am not well i am sick so put the food aside i don't need that food anymore change the food for me so you realize that the person will be the person will be you know having appetite for some petty 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 things maybe you know coconut water you know natural natural things will be something the body will begin to call call for you know coconut water uh, lime juice you know some herbs some light food some sour sour food and so on and so forth fruit and the rest so you those who are around a sick person you people will be forcing you'll be going to from hell to toe to be buying the person you know rich rich food meanwhile you don't know that those foods the person used to eat the the the, the fried rice the rices the ampicias the fufu the bankus you understand I'm, I'm mentioning you know Ghanaian local food so forgive me i don't know your local food those food or those foods are not you know good for the person at that material moment because the body is trying to tell you that hey i need a change of diet so if you force the body if you force those foods on the body at a point in time the appetite will come back because the body will realize that look this guy is not serious so let me open up the appetite the appetite will come back again you start you begin to eat those foods all over again and the sickness will never go that is why mostly our sicknesses become very very chronic because the body have told you or have given you the signal from the word go that it doesn't need that food but you force those foods on it so at a point in time it will open up a bit and then you begin to feed it with that same garbage and then your disease will remain the same so you take all the medications in this world both the orthodox both the herbal one yet you are not going to get any healing so the little advice i am giving you at this juncture is that anytime you are sick the first thing you must do is to change your diet if you change your diet and you become very consistent in your medication i can give you 100 percent assurance that your sickness will vanish within a short possible time because changing of the diet will give the body you know a holiday a room for what for for for, for processing whatever medication you will be giving it and within a short possible time the healing will be very very fast this is part one in my next video i'll come back again and explain to you why the change of diet is important to the body i'll take you through some chemical you know gymnastic you know i'll take you through the the details of what happens if you change your diet and uh, what what is the meaning or what means uh, uh, the holiday and uh, the holiday i'm telling you giving the body the holiday what does that holiday means I will, I, will, I will take you through all these you know things and perhaps someone will also ask okay change of diet what should we also eat in the next video i will discuss all that so stick around don't go anywhere make sure you what you you, you copy the link of this video share to your friends your family and people around you and don't forget to also subscribe to the channel 
click on to the notification bell select all so that anytime you come your way with videos like this you'll be the very first person to get you know notified i'll see you again in the next one so don't go anywhere stick around have a nice day bye